and welcome back to the channel. How about a big thumbs up? This uh, beautiful September morning. Still morning, right? Yep, it's morning. 10.45. So where are we going? Well, we are going to Z, Z Hills. What is Z Hills? Or as the uh, people across the pond would say, Z? Well, it is a skydiving outfit. Why am I going there? Well, I collect shot glasses, you know, to take a drink out of. Well, I found one a, a while ago in my uh, cabinet, and I couldn't figure out where it came from. And uh, neither me or my wife were there. So, the only thing we can think of is that my son went to skydive at one point. So that's where we are going. I'm going to go see how far back their records go. And if um, we can get any information to find out if he jumped. Because, well, a lot of you know that my son is no longer with us. We lost my son back in 2020. So if they do keep records, it should be relatively easy to find. I mean, I. I have a very uncommon last name, it's about, about 87 letters in it, and um, the time frame would be between 2006, July of 2016 to October of 2019, because in October of 2019, he uh, moved back up north, so, like I said, pretty easy time frame. So that's that. We'll be pulling into this place momentarily. I, uh, it says two miles. Where do you guys hang out? I don't see any planes flying around. They are open. I did check the interwebs before I uh, came up here. So yeah, that's it. It's um, it's a bit of a mystery as to where this shot glass came from and how it came to be because I mean I, I doubt you could buy a skydiving shot glass in you know your run-of-the-mill gift shop this would be something I would think that would be you know a, um, an item that would only be carried at the place I mean you know you don't find a Harley Davidson shot glass in Walmart well, I don't know nowadays though you know what I'm saying? Well, you don't find a Slayer... You don't find a Slayer shot glass at a Taylor Swift concert. So we have a turn lane here. And I should... This should be it. Nope, still got one mile to go. close attention well, I thought that was it I might edit that out no maybe not because we all do stupid shit oops I said a bad word so this is Zephyr Hills by the way Seeing that's where they get the name for the skydiving place, Z Hills, Zephyr Hills. So, the airport is over to my left someplace. It's back there. Uh, I should have a turn lane coming up in about three tenths of a mile. I see the blue sign. I did check this out on Google Earth. I should have known better. But, when I start running my mouth, I get distracted. And getting distracted on the motorcycle is bad. All right.
this is a pretty sizable um, airport that they have back there. There's a couple of runways. I don't know how big of an aircraft they can land. I mean, they're not landing jets, so there's a glider flyer, which is pretty cool. Skydiving Pro Shop. There would be an airplane that would jump out of, and I think they're perfectly good airplanes that these people jump out of. So, uh, let me find a place to stick this bike. I'm going to make a U-turn. Yeah. I'll make a U-turn and park over there someplace. All right. Park here. You know why? Because I can. Alrighty. So why don't you folks stick around and let's see what we can find out. How many people jump at once? I don't know. A lot. Damn. <laughs> Being invaded. <laughs> That's pretty freaking cool. That's awesome. Oh, it's going to be so hot to rip this video off the floor into my stupid computer.
don't see any more people falling out of the plane and there's the plane there getting filled up with people. Going to jump out of a perfectly good plane. I guess my son Patrick didn't jump, but he did eat at their um, cafe because it's the only place you can get a um, shot glasses at that stop like I thought. But what we did figure out is this here, Construction of Central Florida Incorporated, B&H Construction of Central Florida Incorporated, they um, are riggers in um, a welding outfit. So if you do any sorts of welding or rigging, you need to go there and be certified for the state of Florida. And that's where my son Pat would have been. And I mean, the sky, the skydiving company um, places on, uh, geez, a 200 yard walk down the street. Internet cafe and everything, so. That would be that. So that mystery is solved. And now I am going to um, head back home and I'm going to get some barbecue. All right, thanks for tuning in. As always, peace and God bless and smash that like button. Thank you so much for watching.